to the virtual groom room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be from Barrister and Man, and this is Sunny Lane. This is a limited edition release. He did something similar last year um, called Behold the What's It. I didn't, I didn't try that one. Um, this is basically a soap to help support children's television. Things like uh, Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers, stuff like that. Uh, people, well, Barrister and Man feel that good educational children's TV is the best type of children's TV, and I would have to agree. Growing up with things like Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers, it was fantastic, you know? Um, Two dollars from each of one of these soap cells, and I believe aftershave cells, don't, don't quote me on that, go towards the affiliate, which I'm going to put in the link below, in the link below, in the description below. I'm also going to put the description of the soap below, because... Will is a wordsmith and crafts it a bit better than I do. So the scent on this, um, the scent notes, sweet clover, bergamot, and oak moss. The scent is supposed to evoke being in your backyard, I believe. And I would have to say, pretty fucking nail on. The, it's a sweet, grassy green scent. The bergamot and the sweet clover really create this um, kind of like early springtime garden vibe to me. It's really nice. I've used this once and it's just Barrister and Man. It's quality. I I'll say this again. When it comes to Barrister and Man, they get a lot of flack for their scents. For me, that's because they take risks. They don't do, they don't make easy scents all the time. Something that I love about Barrister and Man is something that people that have been in this hobby for a while I personally hold Barrister and Man as the moniker for quality. I will say this consistently in every one of my videos. The packaging is quality, the scents are quality, the soap is quality, the company approach is quality, and they remain one of my favorite artisans, and they, I think they always will. My razor of choice today is going to be the Tatara Masamun. This isn't the Nadachi, this is the milder version. Uh, I'm using a first use Gillette Nasset in this. My brush is going to be the Declaration B6 with the Autumn Glory handle. This is a Jefferson, which means it's a 28 mil knot. So let's um, load this load this up a bit, and then we'll get to shaving, or lathering rather. So let's get a decent lather here. So I like these sorts of initiatives by Barrister and Man. Uh, they, like I said, they did Behold the Watches last year. I didn't get to try that, quite honestly. The, the scent wasn't, wouldn't have been particularly to my taste looking at the scent notes. Uh, yeah, I, I, caveat, I got this soap for free. Um, this soap was sent to me, uh, we stock it at Carve and I got this soap from Carve basically. So this sent, this is for me, this is for free. Uh, my opinions aren't bought, you know how I am. If I don't like something, I'll be honest and tell you I don't like something. But no, I, I, I like this scent, it's really nice. It's to my taste, as I would say, right up my alley. But no, it's, uh, most of the things Barrister and Man release, even if I don't see eye to eye or no, nose to nose with the scent, I can see what he was going for. Not everything is gonna appeal to you. Some things you're not a fan of, and that's perfectly fine. Like, a lot of people love citrus. Citrus is citrus to me. Like, I think most citrusy scents smell the same. Uh, I mean, everyone likes citrus. I like citrus, but there isn't a citrus forward scent in my top five scents because, I don't know, it's just not something that I, I really, really enjoy. Like, I don't rush to use citrus, basically. That's okay. Everyone has their own preference. Something else I'd like to say as well, actually, I've been, wa I've, I've been watching CDB's videos recently, and, uh, he said something that resonated with me. Basically, if anyone says this is better than this, and that's based on opinion, well, I mean, I, I guess that's the point. That, that statement is then completely based on opinion and there's no fact behind that whatsoever. There are outliers, make me wrong. Like, I don't think it's difficult to say this is better than Parasso. Um, but then again, some people might fucking love Parasso. I think bottom line is, for me, even if the product 
isn't the most, you know, luxurious or whatever, if it's giving you good shaves, that is really all that matters. Not much else matters than that, quite honestly, so... Um, I'd like to say, like, if I say something is better than this, I'm not saying that objectively, because I don't think you can. I'm saying it subjectively, and I encourage you all to forge your own opinions on products, because if you, if you take everyone else's opinion over your own, you might, it might take you longer to find out what you really enjoy. So remember your, your journey is your journey and no one else can dictate, dictate that for you, you know? I, I will say things are better, but, and as I said, those things are my opinion. You don't need to take my opinion as gospel. I highly recommend you don't because everyone is different and people have different tastes. So, so yeah, I, I, I highly recommend forging your own opinions and stuff. Let's get this lathered up. Excelsior can take quite a bit of water, so I am going to be plowing this with water. Like plowing in with water, it seems. It's funny because I, I won't go as far as saying this needs I'd like lots of hydration, but it definitely performs much better with greater hydration, in my opinion. I personally think that's the case with pretty much every soap. I, I think performance of soap is massively increased when you give it a decent amount of water. Um, don't get me wrong, not everyone feels that way. And that's, like I said, perfectly fine, but. But your argument could be, if you're gonna sit there or stand there for 20 minutes lathering, Which is very rare for me, by the way. I, I, I massively exaggerate. I don't lather for 20 minutes. I lather for about 10 minutes. Granted, that's the duration of a lot of people's shaves, but that's fine, that's what I enjoy. I always recommend, if you don't wanna watch me lather, skip ahead. So yeah, this brush is so much better than that Palandum brush I have. It's, I, it's not even close for me. In terms of the face fill I like, um, you might like a really kind of like, you might like a brush with not much backbone. And in that case, you'd love that Paladin brush. I can see the difference in proficiency though, in creating a lather quickly. And I, I would say that Paladin brush definitely looked better than it was because Katie's Bubbles is so easy to use. In my last video, there's a thing that people say, all you need to do to lather Katie's Bubbles is stare at it. And, but that's not literally true. It lathers very, very quickly. So that's where the, that's where the phrase comes from. It's very, very easy to use Katie's Bubbles. This is easy to use, but I think if you give it love, but by the means of water, it will uh, you'll be rewarded. This is a beautiful soap base, Excelsior. This is one of the first, like, of the latest kind of like reformulation craze. Barrister and Man got that first, I believe. I've recently ordered a soap from Chiseled Face. They have a new soap base that I'm going to be trying. Okay, I think 
I'm gonna leave the volume. We're just gonna paint some water and then get going. So let's tidy up. The CDB line, I remember back in the day where he would uh, kind of clear his neckline. So I've always referred to it as that. Fucking loads of lather in this. So, let me smooth that out a bit. I mean, to be honest, that's it's kind of hydrated how I want it to. So, I think we're going to leave it. Incredible density, actually. Yeah, ridiculous density. <laughs> Okay, so there's the brush. It's been a while since I've used the mess immune, so looking forward to it. Okay, so Tatara mess immune with the, this is a pretty damn mild plate. This is the SB plate. which is very smooth. No blade chatter, like none at all. It's not really comfortable around the mustache area for me. with either of the plates. But, very smooth. And really at the end of the day, that's what I'm looking for. If you want an efficient tar razor, I'd recommend the Nodachi. Nodachi is also very smooth, so. I'd say that's probably more well-rounded than this one. This one's also efficient, don't get me wrong, but it's not as efficient as the Nodachi anywhere near, really. Something I have noticed actually between shaving with straights, if I get irritation with straights, the irritation goes very quickly. That on the few occasions that I do get irritation with double edge razors, the irritation sticks around a bit longer. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's just me. Flame stuff everywhere. Wow. The uh, kind of like in between pass slickness is there in abundance. It's excellent. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, there's... let me dry my hands. Okay, so pass two. Let's lather up. Got a hair here. This is a beautiful lather, it really is. Let's paint a tiny bit more water. Not that it's dry, but this is something I like to do. 
just a teensy bit. Yep, just takes it as I would expect from this. We sold uh, quite a lot of those morning coffee sets. I know it'd be popular, but, but I didn't know it'd be that popular. Kind of like the carb, this razor has a lot of like muted blade feel, which as you guys know, I do like, I don't like a considerable amount of blade fill at all. And uh, this does that very well. The face fill on this razor and all in all is very comfortable. I don't know if this is sold anywhere in the US. It might be sold in Bull Goose, maybe. I got this one pre-owned. Um, for a decent price as well, if I remember. The scent strength on this is pretty high for Barrister and Man. Probably about six, six and a half. Very present. It's, it's a pleasant scent, you know. Definitely one of the more pleasant scents, I would say. Very comfortable on that spot. Very easy. Very easy razor to use. It, it, it shaves pretty similarly to the carb. I'm not going to deny that it does. To be honest, that's probably why I like the face fill so much. It's like the car of B plate for me. It's not as comfortable for me in some places of my face. But by all means, that doesn't mean it's uncomfortable, you know? Here is the place it's not. as comfortable for me, but it's not, you know, again, it's not comfortable. It's a great razor. That's a great show. I hope all you guys are well, um, staying safe. New Mexico, Albuquerque has quite a few more cases. I had a test when I got back from England and tested negative. I was feeling a little bit unwell. I think honestly that was a, we're at really high altitude here, and I think I uh, got used to being at sea level, being there for pretty much two weeks. So it took me a while to adjust back to the uh, the high altitude of Albuquerque, but I'm fine now. Hope you're all well. Um, staying at home. How are you guys uh, occupying yourself kind of when you're at home? I've been reading some books, as I said before. Uh, drinking beer. <laughs> Not going overboard, I tend to have one maximum of two beers a day. 
Uh, I never. I think drink drinking heavily at home, and look, you can tell me to fuck off if you think if you think I'm wrong. I think getting into the habit of drinking heavily at home is probably not a good habit to be in. So, as long as everything is in moderation. The, the, the thing I'm struggling with actually more than anything at the moment is snacking because I'm, uh, being wrong, I'm home all the time, but I'm home all the time. Like I, I it's not really going out, you know. Okay, let's uh, wash this off and uh, get to the post. Let's have a bit of a pat around. Good shave. Pretty much as close as I like to take it. I like to risk, I like to minimize the risk of irritation. Our, our splash today, the matching splash, Sunny Lane. The uh, staying power on the scent is actually pretty long, so. Minimal, minimal alcohol burn. This is one of the ones for me, one of the aftershave formulas that I don't feel the need to use a splash. Well, I use a balm afterwards, so we're not gonna. Okay, let's do a recap of the uh, of the stuff and I will let you go. So, Sunny Lane, Barrister and Man, I really like it. The Razor of choice was the Tatara Massimune uh, with the SB plate and a first use to light NASA. Shaves very well. Brush was my Declaration B6 brush with the 28 mil knot. Hair there and a hair there. That's not good. Um, really nice fan knot on this, as you can see. And the handle pattern is called Autumn Glory. And finally, our post was the matching splash, and that was the uh, the Sunny Lane splash. And uh, appearance by my uh, Lancaster towel just here. Love that thing. Uh, if he has any more, I highly recommend that towel. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I'd very much appreciate it. My name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groom Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day, and goodbye for now.